12 tips that will seriously up your flirting game. Flirting doesn't come easily to everyone. Even the most confident people will freeze up and utter a wimpy, hey, when they see their crush approaching them in the hallways. But don't worry, if you struggle with flirting, we've got plenty of tips to help you master the art of the flirt and get your crush's attention. 1. Be confident. Trust me, there's nothing sexier than confidence. Your crush, and everyone else, will take notice if you're strutting down the halls like you own them. Your crush will want to get to know the girl who knows she's something special. 2. Show you're interested in their life. Everyone loves a compliment, and most people love to talk about themselves. If you get a chance to talk to your crush, don't let it go to waste. Ask them lots of questions about their life and show that you truly are interested. They'll appreciate how curious you were about them and they'll def be looking forward to another conversation. 3. Draw attention to your lips. It sounds ridiculous but it actually works. Get pouty and keep chapstick or lip gloss in your bag. When you see your crush coming your way, swipe on a layer. They'll be dreaming about those lips all day long. 4. Smile and say hi when you pass them in the halls. I know, when you're walking down the hall and you see your crush approaching, it can be the scariest feeling in the world. Your gut reaction will probably be to look down at your phone and pretend like you're in a furious text conversation, but ignore those instincts, look up, and smile at them. No need to get into a big conversation, unless you want to. Just take a half second to wave, say hi, then keep moving. Boom. You'll be on your crush's radar. 5. Ignore your crush. Dot but not for long. It sounds counterintuitive, doesn't it? But imagine running into your crush and a group of their friends at McDonald's. Say hi to their friends first and strike up a convo. Your crush will feel the tiniest bit left out, until you turn to include them, and make their day. 6. Master the bump and flatter. Accidentally, run into a hottie at a crowded party. You can laugh and say, oh, sorry. I become a total klutz around cute people. They'll be immediately flattered and want to know more about you. That's when you introduce yourself and start a convo. 7. Let them catch you looking at them. I know, this seems so scary. Usually, when someone catches you staring you look away quickly so they don't realize you were literally drooling while watching them eat a hamburger. But, next time, try this instead. Gather up all the confidence you can. Then when your crush catches you staring, smile back at them, maybe even wink. It will prove that you're confident AF and will give them the excuse to come talk to you. 8. Check out their clothes. If they're wearing a band shirt or sport jersey, ask them about it. It will make you seem sincere and interested in their life, and it will start a nice conversation where you can learn more about each other. 9. Be obvious sometimes. Maybe you're playing frisbee in the park and you, accidentally, throw it toward the cuties near you. An exaggerated apology lets them know you're flirting on purpose, and in on the joke, and could lead to a conversation. 10. Introduce your friend. If you're too scared to start a convo alone, bring your friend with you and introduce her to your crush. This may seem weird, but sometimes it's easier to approach a person for someone else. 11. Flirt before you see them. Text, you should wear that blue shirt tonight. It makes your eyes look amazing smiley face. A flirty text lets your crush know you're thinking of them and will get them excited to see you later. Plus, seeing if they took your advice is a low-key way to gauge if they're interested in you. 12. Start off with something cheesy to break the ice. If you're thinking of pickup lines, the only ones that are coming to you are probably super lame recycled ones. Did it hurt? When you fell from heaven? Or, how much does an elephant wait? Just enough to break the ice. If you're trying to play it smooth but you're coming up short, embrace the awkwardness and just be cute as hell.